Hey folks, this is Vint with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Crimson Keep. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. On top of that, I just got my press key, so this is going to be a first impressions video. I did play off camera for a grand total of 10 minutes and died. Based on my brief playthrough, this is a first person action RPG of sorts. You're going to be Delving through dungeons, swinging your sword, and killing stuff. You'll also be leveling up as you go. You'll be able to equip items to your person. You'll be able to equip new perks every time you level up, that kind of thing. Options menu, there's controls, mouse sensitivity, controller support. I'm using a mouse and keyboard for the record. Keybinds, unfortunately, only two of the mouse buttons are recognized here. Uh, like, I can't do middle mouse button or my thumb mouse buttons. For whatever reason, they just aren't recognized. It's kind of weird. Another weird thing is that if you want to interact with something, it's spacebar, of all things. Uh, normally, I would associate picking things up with E. So, I might just go ahead and reassign that now. I'll just switch them around, I suppose. Alright, everything else looks okay. Alright, graphics... Full screen, screen resolution, graphics quality. Feel free to pause the video here if you want to see anything in greater detail, but what you see here is what you get. Lastly, audio, master, sound effects, and music. I do have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Alright, so when you start a new game, you'll have the choice between three different classes. There's the Berserker. This rage-filled warrior excels at melee combat. Harnessing the power of bulging muscles and ancient war gods to cleave their foes in twain. It has a natural affinity for slashing weapons. The witch, this primal, primal spellcaster, can create useful objects to keep itself alive and summon wrathful elements to kill its enemies. It has a natural affinity for magic weapons. Lastly, the drifter, weak, unprepared, and hopeless. It is unlikely they will survive in these depths. They are not long for this world. Alright, so we'll just choose the first one. And I gotta say, like, this is pretty... Oh, even the tooltips don't upgrade correctly. Like, if I have my mouse over something, it tells me to pick something up with spacebar. Say, press space to pick up. Well, I rebound the key to E. So, it's just unfortunate that it doesn't, you know, update appropriately. So, hitting tab brings this up. You can drag weapons, like so. And there's also a piece for ear, head, ear, neck, chest, hands, ring, feet, ring. You can see your experience level, your hunger, faith, and your abilities and perks on the right-hand side. You'll be choosing these as you level up. Your XP bar is on the very top middle. On the bottom middle, you've got your health there. And then your skills, once you unlock them on the bottom left, your hot bar on the very bottom middle. Shift allows you to dash. Right mouse button is thrust, a vicious thrust that induces bleeding. Okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start hacking and slashing here. It it takes some getting used to the combat. Like, it's very, very easy to misjudge how far you are from something. Alright, so I guess we'll choose Venom Edge. This one allows us to throw a Venom Edge, a poison-soaked axe... That slowly kills its victim. Icebreaker. And there's charge. Uh, these other ones have to be unlocked by completing achievements. So I don't know what that is. We'll take Venom Edge. And you can see it popped in there on the bottom left-hand corner. Alright, so just to demonstrate, we'll hit Q. Well. There. Mallet. I don't know, I kind of like the sword, but... Alright, we'll, we'll try that. There's also an axe. That's the hatchet that we started with. Damage 22. Okay, yeah, let's go with the... Let's go with this. You can't jump, by the way. I was a guardsman all those years ago. I remember it. The Mad King Silas. Sending townsfolk to their death beneath the castle. Yeah, that voice acting, though. Okay, so, onward. So, yeah, like, I... 
I haven't played this game for very long, but while I'm sure the game has some positive attributes, I'm just... This is a very dumbed-down, basic, first-person, action, hack-and-slasher kind of thing. Like, the voice acting is, eh. The UI, eh. <laughs> I mean, I tr I'm not trying to bash the game or anything, but... Um, you know, if this goes for more than $10, I, I'd be hard-pressed to recommend it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, trying to get used to how far you are from something and the hitboxes... That takes some getting used to. Alright, what did we pick up? Nothing, alright. Onward. Oh, say hi. Okay, this will axe that. That was our Q button. He's he's as you can see, like the effects are really subpar. Like the damage over time on that was all you saw was his health ticking down. It, I, I didn't see any special effect or anything like that. All right, I've almost leveled up here. On according to the top, there we're almost. Almost leveled up. Alright, let's go ahead and... Just go this way. I'm going to hold off on eating until... Because I'm thinking that my health will regenerate when I level up. What? See, what the heck was that? Alright, we'll just let the poison take effect. At least they could put some pants on. Okay, then. Alright, I'm guessing this area is a dead end. Let's go back. Again, that left shift that you're seeing there, that's just me dashing. Plank shield, I missed that. Um, I wonder if it's because... Well, see, the mallet, it doesn't say anything about one hand, two hand, or anything like that. It's not letting me equip this. It's lighting up. What if I do the hatchet and then this? Okay, well, that's an issue. The game doesn't tell you... What, what is one hand and what's two hand? Yes, I, I mean, I can get it. A mallet, w for obvious reasons, would be a two-handed weapon. But, you know, the game doesn't tell you that. It should, but it doesn't. Apparently, I was supposed to go this way. All right, now, is there a map? No. Okay. Was I supposed to go down there? Uh, I mean, there was a guy here for a reason, right? You know what? Just die. Yeah. So that's, that's deadly. Let's go ahead and do the witch so I can show you a little bit of that. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm, I am not really... I'd love to break the barrel. Right mouse button this time. Okay. Um, shorts. Okay, we'll just stick with the wand. And apparently have a limited number of charges. If you look on the bottom right under left mouse button, you can see it says 15. 
All right, so Telekinetic Blast, Ice Spear, or f let's do the Flame Wave. Everyone loves Flame Wave. Okay. We're going to bypass that guy. Flame wave. Ooh, cloth hood and an average ring. Okay, so the cloth hood gives me an extra 10 HP. The ring gives me plus three inventory space. Go me. So it looks like levels are randomly generated. I don't remember these guys before. What the? Oh, okay. All right, let's try that scroll in our inventory. I want to see what that's all about. Oh, that just gave me more charges to my wand. Oh, okay. Apparently he has range damage as well. Go and eat this bread. Wow, 5 HP! Alright, how much does the apple give me? A little bit more. Mallet, short sword. Okay, so... What now? Activate shrine. I think that regenerated my life, but I'm not exactly sure. And where am I supposed to go from here? Moldy bread. Mm -mm. Alright. I, I, honestly, I think I've had enough of this. Um... I can't tell if the game is taking itself seriously or not. If it is, then you're in trouble. If you're expecting a lot out of this. If you're looking for some silly first-person action RPG, and if you don't care about character models or UI or special effects, then hey, you may want to take a look at this. But I... With the market having a flood of these kind of games... I, I'm just, I'm just surprised you're not playing something else. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. I'm not trying to be mean. I just, I call it like I see it. All right, guys. Well, if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Oh, just kill me already. If I eat the moldy bread... Oh wow, 2 HP. Just kill me, please. Thank you. Thank you. I can't even die when I want to die. Here, you finish me off. There's plenty here. Just... I'll give you a fighting chance. Okay, thank gosh.